Hey, welcome back. This is Talking Sci-Fi Special Edition. We're all about mixing drinks for Halloween parties and any other little um, event that you may have at your home. Um, this is my beautiful wife, Lori. Hello. How are you tonight? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm great, and I really appreciate it. She's come. We both have come straight from work to do these podcasts because we're really excited. We have just Randy behind the camera tonight. Um, <laughs> We may have him pop in off the side for a minute. I don't know if you still have that or not. No. Well, I want him. I want him to do some taste tests because we're going to do a drink tonight that I named after one of my most favorite Star Trek episodes. It's called the Gorn, and the Gorn, and you can see in the background, is this lizard-looking guy, and there's a picture of him right there in the background. And Randy's probably going to put a picture of him and Kirk fighting right here or something. But uh, the Gorn is from an episode of original Star Trek called Arena. So basically, the Enterprise gets called to this outpost, a Federation outpost. They come to the outpost and the guy says, all right, we need your technical help down here about some weapons and stuff. And he goes, bring your tactical guy with you. And they're thinking, why does this guy need tactical? Because this commander of this base is like famous for his hospitality. So they beam down the planet and it's all blowed to hell. People are lying around dead, buildings are exploded, and they find out that they are under attack by an alien species called the Gorn. The Gorn. And it's the iconic <laughs> Captain Kirk fighting the lizard guy, and <laughs> they're fighting and they're stabbing each other, and they're trying to, they're being under control by an alien species that's trying to figure out who the most superior race is Earthers or the Gorn. So tonight, we're going to make it a Gorn drink, and it's real simple, and it's a great drink, and it's going to involve, let me reach over here, this Alien Head Vodka, and it is called Alien Vodka. It is green. Um, it's very potent. We're not going to mix too much of it tonight, but that's going to be our base, but you can use any type of vodka for this. Smirnoff, uh, Kettle One, Grey Goose. Um, there's what is the other vodka I use all the time that I love? Svedka. S Svedka, but it's we did an episode you have to find it uh, when we did the Svedka vodka. So you're gonna re it's gonna require a shaker. Um, if you don't have a shaker, you can get two Pilsner glasses, which are tall glasses, and you can just sh 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 like a chemist. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take some ice. Hands. I did wash my hands. Okay, I was just checking. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna put some ice in here because you want this thing to be chilled out. We're not going to put ice in the glass. No, we're going to ship. no, no. Because this is a... I'm going to give you a little secret. It's also called an apple teeny. Apple teeny. So you're going to get a martini glass, which I have a really cool uh, Star Trek looking martini glass here tonight. Okay? And we're going to also have a really beautiful green liqueur called apple pucker. And this is a great addition. It'll make your drink green. It's uh, really awesome. And we're also going to require a cherry. Did you save any cherries? No, I ate them all. You ate all the cherries? Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to need a cherry, but i got a, a remedy for that. So fill your shaker with ice. It's already frosting up on there. And get your outer space vodka or whatever the vodka. I love this because it's corked with... Oh, yeah. Oh. Smell that pure vodka alcohol goodness. There was nothing there. I know. And you're going to pour <laughs> about half the shaker full. About half. Any type of vodka. It's got to be clear, though, not flavored. Put your little cork back in. Give that to my assistant, Lori. Then you're going to take the uh, apple pucker, a great liqueur additive. Smell it? No. You're going to pour that in there. A good little level. Maybe half and half. It depends on your liking. And there you go. We may add some more of that. You're going to close this on. I wish I'd save the cherries in here, but that's all right. I ate them all. Shake it up pretty good to where it's almost cold to even hold the shaker. You learned that trick in bartending. Mm -hmm. The colder the outside of the glass, the better. Look at that thing's frosty. Colder the shaker. This has a little strainer on top of it. Then you pour it into your little glass. Your little martini glass there. Mm hmm nice little level. See how it has kind of a green look to it? Now, you would put a cherry in this, but since we ate all the cherries, Lori, <laughs> we're going to just put a little splash of grenadine in it. Just oh. for 
for a little bit of flavor. It'll That's settle to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. The Gorn. Let's try it. That is a smooth vodka. Mm. Float the cherry in it. it smells good. Honestly. Not too tart, but it's got a little bit of the hint of the apple. So again, shaker, fill with ice, half of vodka, or you know, a, little, a couple shots of vodka, depending on your alcohol level. If you like alcohol, we love alcohol. Apple pucker, put it in there, shake it up, bam! The Gorn. Captain Kirk. And you said the float to float the cherry. I would float, yeah, I would do the cherry or you can splash some granite bean. What is it saying to me? Captain Kirk, this is your opponent speaking. Surrender now and I'll make it a quick death. Yeah. No, Gorn, I'm going to drink your ass. The Gorn. To the Gorn. To the Gorn. May they live long and prosper. I'm going to add a little extra bonus to this uh, episode, if I may. Because I love this shot glass. Randy and his beautiful wife, her name leaves me right now. Ashley. Ashley. It's Ashley. Did you say Ashley? It's I Ashley. know it's Ashley. <laughs> Isn't this great? It's a green shot. So, shot You glass. see what it is, though? Yes, it's a... It's the top it's a, of a bottle. It's a top of a beer bottle, actually, <laughs> that they made a drink, a, a, a shot glass out of. Another thing about doing drinks, and if you go to a Halloween party or a Star Trek theme or Star Wars, is labeling. I've got a regular plain wine bottle here, and I had a friend of mine make the Klingon emblem on it. Simple. And we have a really nice brown colored liquor in there, and it's one of my most favorite things to shoot. Let me get the top off of it here. We call this Klingon fire water. Okay. You smell it. Very cinnamony. And you're going to salute the Klingons. And pour a little bit in your shot glass. I've been wanting to drink out of this shot glass. However much you want. Do you want a shot of this? No, I'll just follow you. Oh, you're going to follow me? This is a very simple drink to make because there's no making. This is Fireball, people. But it's in a really awesome bottle. Logoed up. You can put any type of a logo on it if you have a clear bottle. We have, some, we have this bottle, which was a uh, Halloween kind of a prop mm -hmm. for a, like a... Harry Potter kind of a situation. You put a label on that. Get a hold of Chilton Signs. Uh, he's a guest on a lot of our shows. He does labeling and stuff. You can go to the dollar store. You can print some off your own computer, whatever. Make it look nice and all that. And now you have Klingon fire water. Kapla. Kapla. Here, finish that off for me. Oh. Kapla. Oh. Mm. To Kalis! So there you have it, a Gorn Martini and Klingon Firewater. We appreciate you tuning in with us. Please make sure you go to uh, YouTube and subscribe to our video feed. Yes, subscribe. Yes, ring the Watch bell, subscribe. All. Ring the bell. Please make comments. We've had some great comments. Reviews. Reviews. We, hear we had some great reviews. We had one frowny face today, and I think the guy pushed the wrong button because how can you not love what we do? Because it's awesome. <laughs> We're looking for you, Franny Face Guy. We know you're out there. <laughs> this has been talking, or I'm sorry, this has been mixing sci-fi, drinking sci-fi, sci mixing drinks of sci-fi. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll get back. We have some great podcasts coming up. It's going to be about music. We have a Batman podcast coming up. We have Pets in Space coming up. We have a makeup podcast coming up. A lot of special guests. If you would like to be on the show and you have a special talent, get a hold of us at Talking Sci-Fi on Facebook, and we'll talk about getting you on the show. So thank you, dear. Have a kiss. Get a room. We'll see you next time on This is Talking Sci-Fi. Bye, Randy. Bye.